All right, folks, this is the Grenada episode. And I don't typically start off in the studio. We're calling this Three Pound Fishing Studio. Um, but I did want to talk to you before you see this incredible episode. It has my personal best crappie in it. Um, it ends up weighing significant. I'm willing to spoil it. Um, had some incredible um, experiences. Grenada's never disappointed, but um, this particular trip, Crappie Masters, my hat's off to them. Unbelievable. 179 boats, something like that. Was, uh, was phenomenal. You're gonna see pictures on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff about what you're about to see. And uh, it was epic, it was, a, it was a tale of two days. You had a summer day, a beautiful, stunning day on Grenada, and then you had the flip opposite, and Grenada showed its teeth. Um, but we had a great time. Three pound fishing tackle, sniping braid, Ozark rods. Um, they put all these fish in the boat, and I couldn't be happier with the sponsors that I have. Hornfield Crappie Gear, PTG, American Fish Tree. You know, these sponsors have supported Three Pound Fishing and they supported me this weekend. And me and Ryan had a ball. It was absolutely the greatest time I've ever had. Um, especially day one, because that weather was incredible. Day two, that was, my fingers literally are still hurting. I think I got slight frostbite on my thumb. Um, just to tell you some stories, it was, you know, it was in the 20s, it was a, 10 mile an hour wind, maybe even higher. It felt higher. Anybody that's on Grenada knows it always feels higher than that. I don't want to spoil it. So uh, enjoy the episode. Please subscribe. Three pound fishing, baby. This was an epic trip. And uh, one last thing. Uh, the next event for us will be Wren Lake for the Crappie Masters. We will be doing the Crappie USA Tour. So we will be going back to Grenada in April. If you can spend some, uh, you know, send us a link. We would love to meet everybody. Um, it's just great getting out there on those national trails, and uh, that was our that is our focus this year. So three pound fishing, uh, three pound fishing uh, tackle, sniping braid, Ozark rods, folks. They put some massive fish in the boat. Thanks for watching. Here we go. What's up, folks? We are at uh, Grenada. The Crappie Masters, 170 boats. This is gonna be fun. Probably, well, it is the largest crappie fishing tournament I've ever been a part of. And uh, we're at the Crappie Masters, Grenada. Day one, me and Ryan, check them out. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Beautiful morning. We actually aren't starting till seven o'clock, so I think we've actually probably got about an hour more. So we get to check out the beautiful scenery, check it out. This is, uh, it's beautiful. We are all the way up here near Gums Crossing is where we decided to start. That's our number one spot. Then uh, the winds will blow tomorrow and we'll probably be on the other side of the lake. So either way, it's going to be beautiful. We've got some boats around us. And uh, wish us luck. We'll bring you all the way to the weigh-in. So stay tuned to the end of this episode because you're going to see what we do on this. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. So thanks for joining. Here we go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, so during this day, we didn't film the entire day. We actually just filmed about four hours of the, of the event. We caught a ton of fish, folks. I'm talking, we had an enormous amount of weight in the boat by 10 o'clock in the morning, and we just simply can't show you every single catch, but we're gonna show you the exciting ones, the ones that actually make the scale, um, minus this guy. But we caught a bunch of these guys. These are the one and a halfers. Uh, we put some big slaps in the boat, but it was a lot of fun catching fish. It was the first time I'd ever been on Grenada where we were catch just catching fish, fish after fish. It was nonstop action, a lot of fun. Three pounder right there. 
Yeah, he's, he's probably got it. That could be a three pounder. Let's do it, folks. Let's do it together. That is a freaking pig. Oh, that's exciting. And you know, he didn't look that big on the on the lumber, you know? Yeah. No. Three fifty four. No kid. Three fifty four. <laughs> That's my biggest crappie ever. That one will be coming home to Southern Illinois. Good job. First good fish. That's a three. I want to see this. <laughs> good job, Ryan. What do you think? About 280. Or two. I don't know. He might be. Good night. Two seventy seven. Yep. That's a pig. So I'm fishing with the uh, thirteen foot Ozark rod, sniping braid, and some jigs that I made um, specifically for Grenada. You will see the guy that just caught the three fifty two. That's this guy right here. It's on a one sixteenth ounce head. You can get that at PTG though if you want that. Trans, uh, that chartreuse head. It's just a 1 16th ounce head, but it's got a fairly large size uh, sickle hook. Right now, a lot of these fish we can get right up to. It's pretty cool. Still a lot of boats around us. Um, people aren't moving around quite as much as we are, perhaps, but right now, our small fish is a 165, you say? 175. Which I don't want to jinx us, but should be easy to replace. But all of a sudden, the fishing has gotten a little bit tougher it seems like they're not biting as easily we shall see though so it makes uh these tournaments fun so there we go to be another three pounder. Two eighty two. So me and Ryan are basically doing what I call machine gun Kelly. We're we're kind of just throwing at these fish constantly. I'll go, he'll go, sometimes he'll go twice, I'll go twice just because sometimes you get a rhythm in your tosses and your pitches. These fish are roughly around 12 feet away from us. If we can get them there, that's exactly where we want them. We just sneak up on them very slowly. Um, so we're not really showing you the, the actual process of getting onto a fish, but at the end of the day, it's extremely muddy water conditions, as you can see, and you can get really close to these fish to do what you need to. I would highly recommend a rod that is at least 13 foot, though, in this type of uh, condition. catching a ton of fish. That's a solid, that's gotta be a two pounder right there. Let's see. You gotta love this type of fishing. Two 
229. That's a good fish. For those guys that are going to be going down to Grenada, you can get all the equipment that we're using right now at PTG. So check them out there. They are local. They are right there at Grenada. They will hook you up with everything three pound fishing, the baits, the tackle, the sniping break, you name it, Ozark Rod Three Pound Fishing Elite Series, they got it. How do we do, Ryan? We did pretty good. We're in the hunt. We're in the hunt. So, 1980. 1980, and the uh, the three pound fish ended up weighing 379. 379. 379. So we got it right here. That's a 379 right there. Beautiful fish. So we did great the first day. Unfortunately, the GoPro died. So now we're using a cell phone. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Folks, unfortunately, on the second day, it was absolutely miserable. Couldn't film. Batteries were dead. But here's some shots of what we experienced. It was an epic day. We fought hard, extremely hard, and we actually improved over day one in terms of our place. We finished in 34th day one. We ended this tournament in 25th, cashing a check on the largest crappie fishing lake in the country. We could not be happier. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.